Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another ghost video. Um, I've had to play this game for a while. You know, I had a little time to see what it's like, and I think I got my opinion on it. Um, I do like it. I like the way the game plays. I like the, you know, the balance and all that. Uh, I like the guns. But there are a lot of things I do not like about this game right now, and I hope that uh, through some quick patches they will fix it. Um, right here I'm playing free for all, and I'm going to show you right now a major problem in this game. I get a little bit lucky here. Now, right, right here the first problem is the spawns. Um, I'm having major problems with the pro with the spawns right now. M my friends are having problems. Uh, whenever I go into a lobby. Um, I hear other people complaining about it. It's just a big issue right now. And like, in f like in free for all, I know the spawns are always a little jumbled around, but they're just bad. Like you're, like you're spawning on top of guys consistently. You'll see later on the game. I think I die like ten times in a row because I can't uh, survive more than like two seconds. Uh, it's um. But it's not the problem is it's not only free for all it's it's like team deathmatch, um, it's every match or like that. Uh, ever since Black Ops uh, came out, they've been making these maps that are very open, very open with many different entrances and exits exits for like every room. So like there's, I, I guess they made it to discourage camping. But the problem is at the same time, since it's so open, it encourages people to camp even more, and. Um, Mix in some bad spawns, and it, it 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 gets to a point sometimes where it just stops being fun. And um, until they fix that issue, I don't know if I can play this game and enjoy it anymore. Um, you see more of what I mean later on, but um, the one thing I do like about this game is it's fairly hard. If you if you don't know the game, it's um it's hard to play. It does take a while to level up. I mean, I'm level 18 or 19, I think, something like that, and I've just got, like, a couple guns unlocked, and not even all the attachments and stuff for some of them, like, um, even the perks, I don't even know all the perks, it took me a while to get the ones I wanted, um, the two big ones you're gonna want are the one that silences your footsteps, that's the big one, and, uh, Amplify, I think, is what the other one's called, where it makes everybody else's footsteps louder that is those two are very important you're gonna want those um i heard stalker's good i don't have it unlocked yet but i heard that one's really good um the other one i've been using is wire trap uh it takes three slots so it's a little it's a little big but uh it it works pretty good especially in like a team a team match because um what it does is it it stacks your sidecom so for those of you who don't know how the SATCOMs work, it, it, they're a lot different than UAV. Um, they work in a sense that if you have one SATCOM on the field, um, whenever a teammate, your teammates or you see an opponent, um, they pop up on the radar. So, like if I seen this guy right here, he'd pop up on everybody else's radar on my team. Now if I had two SATCOMs, it acts as a regular UAV with the line that swipes across the screen. If you have three, it works as UAV, but faster. If you have four, then it works like the... Um, uh, I can't remember the kill streak from Black Ops where it shows the arrows on the map and you see where they are. It works like that. And that doesn't happen very much and when it does it's it's just for a short period of time, but it's it's very good. So um as you can see with wire trap if you have one or two satcoms on the field, um all of a sudden you, let's say your opponent gets one or two, then boom, you have a you know where your everybody is. The only downside of that is, is they're all perks that stop people from appearing up on those spots of the map. There again, a guy spawns right there. Like, the spawns are just so... So messed up right now. Um, if you're going to play this game right now, you, I think you got to accept the fact that you're going to die a lot more. Like, I've always been good in Call of Duty's not dying. Um, but, uh... This one, I think, at least until they fix the problems and you get better at it, you're going to die a lot. It's just something we got to got to accept. And, um, what else do I want to talk about? Um, I haven't played the campaign yet. Uh, 
I am going to pretty soon, and I think Adam wanted to do a campaign series on ghosts, so you'll probably see a walkthrough very soon. Um, you see right here, I was trying to get this guy, and then I just got shot in the back. Uh, I, uh, that happens so much in this game. <laughs> um, silencers are big. I uh, use silencers to print all my weapons. Grips are good. Grips are always good attachments, so whenever in doubt, suppressor or a grip, they're both very good. Um, the red dots are great, but if you don't need them, get rid of them. You see here I'm running the red dot just because I don't have the, the grip unlocked for the vector yet. Um, my two basic loadouts that I use right now are the vector with the silencer and it currently has a red dot, but I want to switch it for a grip eventually. And the AS... Uh, SC-10 I think it is actually, it's assault rifle, I think it's the first one, yeah, I'm running that with a grip, and I think a suppressor, and that's doing pretty good, um, yeah, and my perks are, I think I'm using wire trap, uh, the one that sounds is your footstep, the ninja one, like the ninja pro, uh, amplify, Maybe the one that lets you aim quicker. And I'm not sure what else. Um, I do. We'll probably put in Stalker when I get the chance. Um, the ki uh, the kill. The other thing I wanted to say is the kill streaks are definitely nerfed in this game. They're still good. Like the attack dog is pretty good if you use it correctly. Uh, the Trinity rocket is neat. And. Like the Maniacs and some of those higher ones are really, really good. But in the beginning, you gotta unlock uh, them, and it's it's kind of a pain in the ass. Like, y you guys just gotta accept the fact that it's gonna take a while to level up and uh, get to the point where you can actually get some decent classes. But, this is the end of the video, so I'll catch you next time. Ciao.